ATF BTV. We're here with a really cool product from KDEX. And thanks very much, Daryl, for coming out and talking about this. No, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Cool. So, if you've ever been in the AMRAP or MAP, and you've had to be behind the good old Browning M2, and you're probably might be familiar with the older KDEX Solo mount, I think you might appreciate their newer version, which is what we're going to talk about today. So, Daryl, please take us away on this new mount that you guys have. All right, great. So what we have here, we have our Colo system. It's designed for the M2 Browning machine gun. Within this system here, what we have is the capability to have a recoil mitigation system utilizing a powered ballistic ready cooled optic. It actually, it, it recoils back and forth. Now within this system, you could uh, identify a target, let's say at 1,500 meters. All you have to do is press your face up against the eye cup go into the ballistic reticle itself, look for 1,500 meters, place it on target, and then you can go ahead and engage the system. While having that recoil mitigation with your eye up here, go ahead and place your eye up there, it would actually recoil back and forth. It absorbs 88% of the recoil coming off the weapon system and an additional 5 to 7% off the eye cup going into the shooter itself. Perfectly safe. You can use it uh, with your helmet on and also with your uh, ballistic protective eyewear with no issues whatsoever. So this works good with, does this work well with our Mark 19 as well? I know sir, this is specifically set up just for the 50 cal M2 machine gun. Reason being is the, uh, it does not have a uh, compensation for the spin drift off the Mark 19 round. So the 50 cal being a more of a straight line projectile. And so you got rails here for pick a Ginny stuff, your Pack 15s, that sort of thing as well? That is correct. So if you needed to put any type of laser rangefinder device, um, laser designators, you could actually put a red dot sight here for red dot sight, excuse me, for quick rapid acquisition or just to engage it using that. Sounds good. Now what about the mount here? You guys have a really cool mount that I found really fascinating. Can you talk a bit about it? Okay, what we have here, this is our M2 cradle system itself. The M2 cradle system was designed to allow the shooter one to be able to go completely from free gun to an accurate T and E style system, all with a throw of a clutch system, a one levered arm, and it enables you to find your target, lock it into battery, and engage either accurately or area suppression style with a free gun system. It actually works off of what we call a zero gravity capability. Here it is completely unlocked. You can leave it alone, leave your hands off of it, and it'll stay right where it's at. You can lock it up into battery, it'll stay there. If you needed to do a reload, you can depress the muzzle, allow you to reload easier because the gun is actually depressed down and it won't come back at the heavier point. Throw the lever and you're right back into free gun. If you locked it up, you wanted to get into a position where you say you're being engaged from a window, lock it into battery, use your T&E to move it at one mil increments and take your bad guy out at long distances. Can I rack it back? Uh, you can. Oh, there's nothing uh, It's already in there. back. There's nothing in there. We have this set up for SHOT Show oh, here in 2018. Man. That's half the fun with these Oh, things. we know, we know. But we just got to have it make it safe for everybody. Oh, wow. Well. So now we're going to look at some of KDEX's precision rifles, and we're going to cut here, and we're going to look at one of the really cool offerings that they have for 2018. And here I have the honor and the privilege of talking to Rob Frolong. Thank you very much for coming out, sir. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for stopping by, guys. We Absolutely. appreciate you guys stopping by. It's great. So we want to talk about some of the new rifles that you guys are putting out here, and uh, please take it away. Okay, so what we have here is for 2018, we've launched the Sheepdog Action. This is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, we're offering in 6 millimeter, uh, 6.5, more to the popular calibers you're seeing in the PRS matches. This is our uh, competition chassis that you see it in here. One of the unique things about this chassis is it has the closed ports. So as you see here, left and right, we have the open ports. And this was uh, traditionally what we would do with our other existing chassis. We've closed these off so that the shooter has basically a, a tunnel to shoot through when he's uh, dealing with Mirage. Okay. So most of the guys, you know, if they're using uh, suppression, they're using the wraps. So this kind of helps them out with uh, the Mirage created by heat from the barrel. So we've done that for our competition guys. Back here we got a complete toolless adjustment. We can adjust cheek height, butt length, butt height, so the guys don't have to carry the tools around with them. So it's it's very, very easy to use. Lightweight, we've taken away the actual rail off the top of the chassis. 
most guys aren't running thermal night vision. The matches are ran in the daytime. So it just cuts down on cost, it cuts down on weight. The uh, action itself, this is a new footprint for us, kind of like a, the Remington footprint. This is a smaller action than traditionally used in our Guardian Patriot series. Uh, we got a four locking lock bolt with 50 degree throw. So a very short throw for the guys to get the repetition rounds down range as quick as possible. So uh, very slick, easy functioning uh, action. Excellent. On the top of the action, we've got our rail. And this is not just screwed into the rail. We actually have a recoil lug in here and it's also pinned. So your screws aren't going to be taking all that recoil. You don't have to worry about anything being sheared off. There's actual metal in there that's buttoned up against other metal inside. Ex that kind of thing. Exactly. So there's no chance of movement from the rail or being detached. The screws are simply holding it on to the action. Excellent. So this is really looking at this. We're looking at a really optimized PRS setup here. Am I correct? Or? Yeah, we, we focused on the PRS market. This is specifically built for that community. So if you have uh, guys who are not sure where they're going to go with the sport, they want to try to get into it, uh, they're not into the custom build level yet, uh, they want to pick a rifle up out of the box, that half minute uh, of angle, and they can just go to a competition using factory match grade ammo. That's who we're seeing right now, the guys who are calling us and, and wanting to get into the sport, not knowing what to buy, and they just get this from us, start shooting right away, and, uh, and be very successful. We've got guys using our rifles in the PRS uh, market and in the competition, and they're using factory match grade ammo at these matches, and they're doing well. You know, our, your high-level guys are going to be using those custom guns with uh, hand-loaded ammunition. This is focusing on the guys who want to get into the sport right away and uh, see if they're going to like it. Outstanding. Can we talk about MSRP and availability? It's available in the United States and Canada and um, the MSRP as well. So uh, for pricing, they would contact their distributor uh, or retailer in the area. Availability on those these guns right now, you're probably looking at uh, four to six months by the time this is out and available in your, your mom and pa stores type of thing. Uh, we're taking orders for these rifles right now. If guys are interested in getting out and shooting this summer, now will be the time to get the orders in for these guns. Uh, we're still using the Bartline barrels that we've used in all of our guns. Uh, you'll see it topped off with the MX-1 muzzle brake. This is a, a five-point axis CNC cut uh, muzzle brake. We're getting about a 40% recoil reduction on, on the guns when we're putting on these muzzle brakes, meaning that for a PRS shooter, you're not teamed up with a spotter. You want to spot for yourself in case you miss. If you're shooting this in a short action caliber, you can spot for yourself no problem. We're sitting down, we're, or sorry, we're in prone position, shooting these in 308, 65, and 6 Creedmoor, and you can actually watch your round going to the target. This is a really specific gun built for the, the guys and girls in the PRS community. Uh, it's what we've taken from them, from uh, what they've seen we should do, uh, lessons they've learned, what they'd like to see from us. So we're excited to push this out to the market and get the feedback and uh, hopefully guys and girls are uh, really successful using our, uh, our new system. Cool. Well, thank you very much, sir, for hey. uh, stepping aside and talking no about problem. the newest entry from KDEX. Thanks for coming out. Really appreciate it. Uh, good luck shooting. Cool.